Hello everyone, welcome back to GGN. This is part three of this news bulletin. It's the final one for today. Um, just for today, I've been putting in the links because I, you know, my wrists are able to do it. So, and I do like putting those links in there because it's good for me to go back and reference uh, sources, be able to go back and find it and put it in future videos. So, we'll see though. I can't guarantee it, but uh, thank you everyone for your support. I really do appreciate it and spreading the word and stuff. Um, I'm going to cover the economy in this last video, and then, of course, the result of economic warfare, which is social warfare and eugenics, i.e. killing people off, useless eaters. So there's a lot more useless eaters now out there, and um, they got to go, so we'll get into that. Stocks closed down as crisis in Europe deepens. So we have U.S. stocks fell sharply as escalating problems in Spain jolted investors. Spain's stock market plunged 6% and its borrowing costs spiked after a regional government asked for financial lifeline. There's actually protesters in the streets getting hit by rubber bullets in Spain. And um, remember what I was talking about as far as um, the London Olympics, that whole basically hardening of security could be, and like the quote anarchists and stuff like that in Italy, they've deployed, uh, I believe it was military where they were planning on doing it, could be for the possible collapse of the euro so coinciding with the olympics or maybe these powers that be may just roll the dice and and do it all do a false flag attack on the olympics and strike iran and crash the euro i mean who knows right this ungovernable europe enters economic depression this is from the um the socialist website in i believe it was your uh, england or something like that wales but either way it says here that um, in the 1920s, the Dawes Plan, underwritten by U.S. capitalism, saved Germany and Europe for six years until Wall Street, the Wall Street crash and the onset of the Great Depression. It was the economic price paid to prevent revolution. And they say now there's no power in the world that can act in a similar fashion to solve the European crisis. Well, I have my own say on that. They could just wipe all the um, all of the debt and say, let's start with a new currency and let's just wipe it, right? Debts are forgiven forgiven but of course you have to accept our terms and somebody um, in the comment board uh, tried sending me an article about the depression the mainstream media talking about the depression uh, I didn't receive it and I actually did do some searching to try to find something like that and I didn't but uh, we have Bernanke offers downbeat view of economy but no action he had reminded the Senate Banking Committee that the nation is at risk of slipping back into recession negative growth if Congress does not reach a compromise to avoid a fiscal cliff. So what he's talking about is that we've likely, in all likelihood, have been in a recession already, and that if, you know, uh, basically the bank robbers, I mean, they're, he heads, he's heading up the banks, and uh, it's, it's, it's just a crazy cycle, but basically it is kind of like a, like a heist. And he's saying, well, if you don't allow, a, if you don't allow us to force you to take credit from us with interest, then we're going to put you in a depression. That's what they're saying. But then again, in this article, they're saying that uh, this depression would be to what? This fiscal cliff, a confluence of tax increases and spending cuts. So everything you paid into is going to be gone. Uh, doesn't really matter. It's gone. And they call it austerity. And you'll go into poverty and you'll starve to death, right? And, uh, of course, the tax increases are what? Oh, they're on the rich, right? They're on the billionaires. I don't think they're on the billionaires. In fact, I think they're actually on the millionaires, which are most of the small businesses, business owners. So it is going to stymie growth. But he did, uh, Bernanke did concede that, uh, he said here, surveys of business conditions and capital spending plans suggest further weakness ahead. Not really too much of a surprise here, but um, People's Republic of California does it again. The city that, you're right, that city of Compton may declare bankruptcy by September, says officials. And no doubt about it, Michigan governor finalizing a plan to raise Detroit empty homes. That's right, they're just going to destroy them. They're going to tear it down to what? To make the city safer. Hmm. Then I saw this article, bomb threats made on Detroit landmarks. Invested, they're investigating Detroit police are four hoax bomb threats made within a week of Comerica or whatever park, the Detroit Windsor Tunnel and Ambassador Bridge. So makes you wonder, are they going to have some terrorist attacks and all these empty homes as well? And speaking of homeless people, 
says here, Southern California man busted for building secret camouflage house and growing pot in public parks. So, says here, this individual, is camouf he camouflaged the entire structure down to the tire of the wheelbarrow by cutting down trees and using camouflage tarp and paint, cops said. Now, why did he do that? Well, he was trying to avoid the cops. During the investigation, deputies also found eight marijuana plants growing near the structure. Okay, so slap the cuffs, zip tie, taser them, throw them in the jail. You'll pay for that with your tax dollars and throw away the key because this guy was growing some freaking plants in the forest. It was a dangerous structure. I mean, the guy had uh, fire extinguishers, a little American flag. Yeah, so this is about as ridiculous. I, I, this is what I want to say in this video. The theme is just let's get stupid, right? Let's get freaking stupid here. Because, uh, you know, it, nothing, of the, it's not logical. Any, most of these articles I'm covering now, there's no logic in it. So um, here we go. It says that he basically was on this uh, wildlife sanctuary. So don't worry about people's sanctuaries. Let's, let's, let's uh, smash and destroy empty homes for safety when there's people that are homeless. And then uh, when they move out uh, to the forest uh, because they don't have a home and they want to make their home in the wildlife where most of us came from right from the woods and that in the mountains oh no we reserve that for the animals now i'm all for the you know keeping the animals where they're supposed to go i guess you could say because you know it's mostly human uh a human basically human activity has spread so much that's why you have all the bears coming in uh, to towns and stuff like that and eating garbage they said it's illegal to be in los angeles county park after dark let alone to build a structure and reside there he went on there and he said that uh, he was arrested for the pot and for removing trees from a county park. Remember, a lot of times they'll have these wildlife sanctuaries and they'll take the land that um, uh, could be, you know, could be private land or something like that. Or was the public's, again, through your tax dollars, it's, it's basically a national park, it's the people's park. And they'll turn that into a wildlife sanctuary. Then all of a sudden, you'll have these big, uh, these big foundations and and societies that will come. And all of a sudden, they'll sell it to themselves or to their crony elitist uh, friends. And they'll just what? Oh, they'll start cutting down trees. So what is the fine of doing this? He's being held in lieu of thirty thousand dollars bail, with his first court appearance set for Wednesday. So Ura USA, right? Team USA to be decked out in uniforms made in China. That's right. So it says they're the pride of America. An opening ceremony of the Summer Olympics in London. They'll be proudly wearing red, white, and blue from beret to blazer. But it goes on here and it says that it was crafted by Ralph Lauren. But just how American is it? It's actually made in China. And I remember some people saying that it actually didn't even look American. The uniforms, it looked like uh, French or something. And next up, we have Comrade Obama's doxology, praise the state, an ungrateful individual's heathen. So it goes on here, and it says that addressing a partisan crowd campaign during a stop in Virginia, uh, Obama heimed the praise of government as a provider of all good things while rebuking business owners for their supposedly misplaced belief that they build wealth as individuals. And it goes on here and it basically says, if you've got a business, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. The internet didn't get invented on its own. Government research created the internet so that all the com uh, companies could make money off the internet. Now, he forgot to include in there to spy on all their citizens, too. That was the biggest purpose as well, data collection. Spying. Americans joining disability now outpacing Americans finding jobs. That's right. Between April and June 2012, an estimated almost quarter million Americans were added to Social Security's disability program in that same period, only uh, same amount, quarter million American jobs were created. So again, Go America, USDA partnering with Mexico to boost food stamp participation. It says here the Mexican government has been working with the United States Department of Agriculture to increase participation, i.e. they're going to give legal immigrants food stamps. So. Uh, it says here, homeless being stabbed, but you're going to have tax increases. You've got to have those tax increases to save the economy, avoid depression. Homeless being stabbed in the back as they sleep in L.A. So I remember I uh, mentioned this before about setting, uh, they call them transients, uh, homeless people on fire, and, and it's mostly youth that do that. I'm thinking that's cool, you know, because it's bad to be homeless, right? But was this a uh, lone asylum? Was this a PSYOP? It says here they left behind a note, rambling death warrants. You know, and the thing is, is that with all the taxes that you're, I was thought about it earlier today, with all the taxes that you pay and stuff, Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, all this, uh, you pretty much already are a socialist state. So I find it kind of ironic and funny when people say, we're not socialists. Well, 
it, actually you're not because if you if you had real socialism it may actually be better than what you have now which is um, it's not even fascism I guess you call it corporatism or fascism but it's basically you pay for stuff that's social benefits and all that but it doesn't really help you you know what I mean it doesn't really help you and it's not really enough and it goes to people that don't shouldn't have it right and uh, so you pay all these taxes and it doesn't even go to quote socialism it goes straight to uh, banks that's the biggest one the lenders the money lenders and corporations who are deemed are uh, basically granted limited liability from the state so the the government actually enriches these corporations and you know that's why they say it's pri uh, privatize the profits and socialize the loss but your tax dollars are also going to eugenics so this is how I tie into it with the economy hospitals letting patients die to save money yeah that's right depriving elderly patients of food and drink to hasten their deaths as part of a cost-cutting measure to free up bed space and another way is food, and they use harp and weather modification to create droughts. Corn prices headed for record highs as crop shrinks. That's right. They lost almost 40%, as I mentioned. And it's also soy, too. The soy uh, crop has also been um, uh, hurt really bad. Bill Gates donates $6.4 million grant to British scientists for GM crops, genetically modified crops, and one of the largest single investments to the project. So, see, Bill Gates, he cares about you and uh, not having enough food. So the new GMO, Agent Orange Soy, silently backed by USDA. Again, so this is the USDA, this is your, this is your tax dollars going to them to grant uh, big corporations like Monsanto and all them uh, the ability to unleash holy hell eugenics on you. So, and God forbid if you try to uh, compete with them, you're going down to Chinatown. They will SWAT team you. And watch out, Bill Gates' wife, Melinda, Gates is coming for you. That's right. She just enrolled her new program to reduce population in Africa and South Asia, speaking at the Family Planning Summit in London to half, uh, to the other half of the Gates Messiah Operation Pledge to bring contraception to millions of women and girls in third world countries. So Melinda Gates Family Planning means sterilizing women in developed nations. That's what it means. So they have nice code words, you know, that they say that they use. They want to sterilize American women. Sterilization won't cost women a penny under Obamacare. So prevent those useless eaters from coming out. But, you know, people will volunteer and they'll do it. And so it says here, Buffett makes annual donation to Bill Gates Foundation. So all these people um, that say, oh, Warren Buffett, he's just a grassroots, you know, millionaire, billionaire. And I, I'm like, no, he isn't. And he's part of the team. So he's paying for the eugenics too, investing in it. India investigates uh, re womb removal insurance scam. It's not a scam. It was what? Women had their unnecessary hysterectomies, their wombs taken out so hospitals could make insurance claims. Uh, they also are given free uh, uh, eco-friendly cars to people who get sterilized as well in India. Uh, scientists discover two vaccines combined to create new virus strains. Uh, it says here, vaccines used to control infectious diseases, which they don't do, they spread them, and chickens have combined to create new virus strains. So it's not a freaking surprise that it, did, that it did it. FDA says BPA no longer allowed in baby bottles. So there's your tax dollars going to work to protect you, right? Well, it doesn't really fucking matter because BPA-free products still contain bisphenols of equal toxicities. Man with Tourette's says a cop beat him for their own amusement. So the Georgia man said the police deactivated a device that controls his symptoms and then beat him for their own amusement. A car buyer is mistaken as a terrorist. It says here the Denver dealership staff was threatening to call the FBI to haul her away as a suspected terrorist. Routine background check of Cortez's credit report turned up something unusual. It was an alert indicating that the woman was on a government list of suspected terrorists, international drug traffickers. Are we talking about the government? No, we're talking about just lonely old you. And while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and give the FBI uh, basically pictures of your tattoos. They want a database in order to catch terrorists of all people's tattoos. But Bradley Manning, who exposed uh, the psychopaths of the military-industrial complex, was treated more harshly than a terrorist. And as a woman was convicted of battery for patting down a TSA, and a Texas woman pulled a gun to stop the smart meter installation from a utility worker, yeah, so there's no opt-out provision, and they're going to actually take her to court for it. So, And look at this. These augmented reality glasses. This guy was wearing them, and it prompted privacy fears. They took them off, told them to leave at McDonald's. But what happens when they turn into brain-scanning binoculars that harness uh, unconscious minds to locate threats? Hmm? That's why there's a 2045 Avatar project. That's the elites, the billionaires craving eternal life. Yeah, this guy didn't get the memo. It's not for you. It's for the elites. 
they're just going to have use you to get the money to fund this. And while the Pentagon and CIA are sued for lethal drone attacks on U.S. citizens, the Pentagon wants awards for bravery for drone pilots who kill people remotely far from the field of battle.